Hey everyone, welcome back to Nail Art by Nessa and this is the Spotlight Collab May Challenge. This week's challenge was chosen by Lisa from Dana August Nails and Sheena from Nail Addict She. This week's challenge is Pac-Man and I'm super excited so let's get started. The first thing I do is I'm going to paint my tips all black with my black born pretty gel polish and i'm going to do two layers setting each layer in the light while i do that let me tell you about the two ladies we are spotlighting this week we have lisa whitney she is such an amazing artist and such a wonderful lady i absolutely love her but check out these flower nails she hand painted them along with this set for american horror story just unbelievable art and this set she did last year for our Spotlight Collab Challenge. They are literally on another level. And second up is Sheena from Nail Addict She. And her Instagram is so bright and colorful. She uses so many bright colors. It's very inspirational to me. And I love these really cute checkered smiley face nails. And these sort of bohemian bright colored nails. And of course, I love these rainbow Dior nails. So please go check out both of their Instagrams and YouTube channels. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out everyone's videos that's participating in this week's challenge. And I will have all the links to all their videos in the description below. I am looking forward to seeing what everyone comes up with. But for now, let's continue with my set. So I'm going to use Stampolic's number 8 stamping plate. And I'm going to use this stamping plate for all of my main Pac-Man images. And first, I'm going to pick up the logo image in red. And I'm going to reverse stamp this image. So I'm going to fill it in with yellow polish. And I'm going to use my dotting tool to do this. So when I'm filling in the image, I'm just guiding the polish over the image. I'm very careful not to touch down my dotting tool to the actual stamper. If you do, you will lift up the image and ruin it. So just be really careful when doing this. And once I'm finished, I'm just going to set it aside to let it dry. And then while that's drying, I'm going to use my Nicole Diary L04 stamping plate and I'm going to start building the borders of my game board. Next up, I'm going to take out one more stamping plate, and this one is Born Pretty Geometry L001. For this, I'm just using this circle image, and I'm using it to create any corners on my border. That way, each corner is exactly the same. After finishing my outer border of my game board, I am going to take my logo image that I was letting dry, just double check that it's dry enough and then stamp it down on top of the middle finger. And I am just covering it in base coat so I don't accidentally smudge it or wreck it. Now I'm moving on to the ghost. So I'm going to pick up the ghost in pink and then I remove the centers of the eyes because I do want to create sort of a googly eye effect. And I'm going to just paint in blue little dots with my dotting tool and set it aside to let it dry a little. While that's drying, I'm going to take the same ghost image, pick it up in white and stamp it down on the pinky finger and on the thumb where I feel like the ghost should be coming to attack our Pac-Man. For my second ghost, I decided to go with orange and I'm just going to do the same thing I did with the pink one, removing the pupils and then painting them back in in the dark blue. I set that one aside and then I take out the white polish and I'm just going to fill in the whites of the eyes on the pink ghost. 
Well, those are drying. I'm going to start on my Pac-Man. So I pick him up in white first and stamp him down where I want him on my middle finger. And then I'm going to pick him up in yellow and just stamp it directly on top of the white. Now I'm going to switch back over to my ghost, but I can't just stamp it down directly like I have with all of my other images because the color of the ghost has completely dried. The eyes would be the only part that transfers. So I use my McCart foil glue and I set that in the light and then I transfer the image. This ensures that the entire image transfers and then I seal it with my base coat. Now that I have all of my main characters placed, I'm going to create a few walls to create the look of the maze that Pac-Man is navigating. Once I was feeling pretty happy with the way my game board was looking, I still needed to place all the little white dots that Pac-Man is tasked with eating and I thought it would be really cute to do this with some nail gems. So I'm going to use my stuck nail drill glue and just place some little dots. And for the gems, I did use a bigger gem in the corner. I wanted that to represent the bigger dot that he eats that will like change the ghosts into blue ghosts where he can eat them um yeah i don't know if i described that well but you know what i'm talking about if you've played the game so i'm just gonna go around and do that on all of the nails where i feel like the little dots should be And for my last little touch for the ring finger, I really wanted to add the 500 point cherries. So I did this using this really cute nail charm. And last but certainly not least, I top coated everything, being really careful to get all around the gems but not actually paint over them. And here is the final look. I'm really happy with the way these look, but if I could change anything, I would just try and be a little bit more precise on how all the lines line up. Um, but otherwise, I think they're super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification, and I'll see you next week. Bye!